Hello guys, me Garth Hunt, the Zeke Apricon FM, and I have some NASCAR news that I want to talk to you about, so I'll only be doing two today since Wednesday night I was supposed to congratulate Kyle Larson on his SP award for best driver of 2021, but it's actually 2022, which is engraved on the trophy, so... What about Kyle Larson, man? He's a he's a dirt racing guy, I can tell you. And NASCAR is his side job, you know, like to put food on the table, like Audrey and Owen and her, his wife, Caitlin Sweet, or Caitlin Larson, I should say. So, yep, he's living the life like after he him. And Brad Sweet made a uh, dirt racing series called High Limits, I believe. And all I can say is I've been getting good comments from you guys lately from the Kyle Larson is a Real Deal Facebook group. And I can tell you I'm not a real much of a dirt out expert, but... Hey, if you have any thoughts or feelings, just comment right below the description on Facebook or YouTube, whichever you choose. So, so that's basically it for the Kyle Larson news of him winning the SP Award for Best Driver. So, on the second thought, Kurt Busch is possibly going to be replaced by Tyler Reddick. And I had I didn't know about it yesterday, but it was confirmed in one of the podcasts, I believe, that he hints that he will retire, you know, along with maybe Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex Jr. by next year. And it's going to be a wild, silly season in, for 2024, you know, and... I know Eric Elmarell is retiring this year, but he's, uh, I don't want him to be a flip-flopper thinking, oh, I think I should retire now, which he said in January, and then six months later, he looked it over and said, oh, never mind, I'll come back, but dude, just do it part-time, you know, <laughs> but putting Ryan Priest in that tank car, yeah. But this news was supposed to be about Kurt Busch, but with all these NASCAR drivers that were racing back in the 2000s, like Al Marola, Harvick, Truex, and yep, Kurt Busch. I mean, who's gonna run for Rookie of the Year, you know, in 23 or 24? And I mean, it's not the collective bargaining agreement that you see in basketball and football where you're trying to sign the best free agent, you know, and more than likely there is going to be a lot of shuffling, you know, and I don't want to say Haley D is going to play a big role in this, but she couldn't, but to be realistic, her truck results haven't been sharp as usual you know only one top 10 and that is mid Ohio on a road course but that's what females have potential to do just get a top 10 in some other track you know so that's basically it for my NASCAR news as I usually do news about Hendrick Motorsports but the Carpus one yeah, I have to bring in more viewers to subscribe to my channel, so, yeah, all you have to do is just click that bell button and you'll be on my newsletter to, like, look at all my future videos, so, and then click on that bell button if, or give a thumbs up if you like the video, so, I'm AKF Carnival. Y'all have a great day and peace out.